I could run a whole bunch of tricks on you. And I could ask you a whole bunch of questions about things that you think are absolute standards or guaranteed about training. I'm supposed to do this. I'm never supposed to do that. For instance? Uh, for instance, is it okay to train a muscle group on back-to-back -back days? Most people are at home thinking, no, you're not supposed to train a muscle group. It needs to recover. And that's total nonsense, right? Um, other things like body part split training, right? Training one muscle group per day. Um, other things like cardio, uh, endurance training, influencing, will it ruin my gains for my lift? All of these things are on at a, a base of assumptions that come from bodybuilding. Now, that's a fantastic world, but because everything started in the late 1970s as bodybuilding in terms of basically strength training was that. Weightlifting and powerlifting were not at all around, right? They were, but nobody cared. Again, show me someone who wants to be strong, I'll show you 10 who want to look strong. The physique thing just dominated, and we're, we're not getting out of that yet. Uh, we're not all the way out of it. We're starting to, though, because here's why. People started to realize this, this bodybuilding thing is fantastic. I can change my physique. I'm getting better. But damn, these workouts take an hour and a half, two hours. And I'm going to spend that whole time on one or two body parts, which means I'm going to have to lift six days a week. And I'm going to have to do that consistently, right? Now I'll send, boom, two hours on my, on my elbow flexors. Damn, my elbow's starting to hurt. And yet my understanding is that it doesn't really require two hours a day Not at of all. training in order to get benefits, even just for hypertrophy. Totally. But, but uh, a lot of the times you're going to have to get some amount of time in because you're spending so much isolation. So we've gone away from training movement. Running is a movement. Cycling is a movement. Um, training my biceps is a muscle or bi muscle group. Um, training my hamstrings or a muscle group, that's not a human movement. So we've done a 180 in terms of selecting the exercises from movement-based prescription to now muscle group-based training. So when you're isolating muscle groups, that means a whole chunk of your body is really not doing much throughout the day. So what happens if you're doing, say, legs on Monday and you miss Monday because you're on a flight? Now your legs have to wait a whole nother week, right? That's the solution to that. But, so this starts to become problematic. People start getting beat up. People start realizing, I actually don't feel that great. I'm not super fit. I'm sweating just walking up the stairs. I'm out of breath. Why? Because all that training, you've done nothing for your cardiovascular fitness. You've done nothing to improve um, heart rate, oxygenation, blood flow. And so that paradigm swing way too hard into the exercising, especially lifting weights, is single joint, often machine, often slow, often high volume isolation stuff. And that left a giant opening of people going, well, wait a minute. What if you could get in the gym? I could promise you the same or better results in under 30 minutes. And in fact, you also feel better. You'll lose more weight. And that opened up group exercise classes, kettlebell stuff. CrossFit type of stuff, circuit training, because you can come in, you won't get so beat up because the volume's lower, the time is much lower, you get multiple adaptations at the same time, great. The problem with that, though, fast forward 10 years, is it started burying people because you've now de-emphasized movement quality and you've overemphasized scores, right? So this is a classic example. If you go and you watch Pumping Iron, you'll see, or any bodybuilder, you'll see if they're doing a bicep curl. They don't even really pay attention to the rep range. They don't really pay attention to the load. They are looking at their muscle. They're trying to figure out, how do I get that thing to fire? They're squeezing, they're flexing, they're posing. At the end of every set, they're trying to figure out, am I getting enough pump? It is exclusively founded on exercise quality. The rep range, the numbers, almost irrelevant. When you go to the other model, exercise technique, it doesn't matter. Just get the most amount of weight up or the amount of reps or the fastest time, et cetera, et cetera. High this would intensity. be CrossFit. I've walked past some CrossFit studios. I've done two CrossFit I don't classes. want to get sued. So you said CrossFit. I didn't. Oh, I don't know. I, I enjoyed them. I definitely uh, felt like I was working hard. I, oh, you will. I observed a lot of people in very close proximity um, doing Olympic lifts and doing kipping. That's where you kick yep. your legs, folks. So, you know, sort of like bucking and um, kipping type pull-ups. Um, no, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't for me for the long term. But sure. it did seem that there was um, a lot of ballistic movement in yep. close proximity to other people. Um, so the hazard to me seemed more about that than the actual movement. Well, again, the, the point I'm setting up here is that was actually a really brilliant solution for a lot of the problems the classic bodybuilding hypertrophy introduced. So it got away from isolation movements and got people doing big movements, which are more effective, generally better, 
Uh, it got people doing things fast and explosive. That's more athletic. That is more important for longevity. It solved a lot of the problems. Joint health wasn't getting crashed. The issue they went with is they just pushed the pace on score rather than quality. They pushed the pace on how many people can be in here at the same time. So now you're doing higher risk movements, higher intensity, higher fatigue, and with a total, not that they don't care about technique, but it's not the thing that they're most concerned about. It's getting the number and the thing done. They solved the time issue though. You can get tremendous results in three days a week, under 45 minutes each session, et cetera. Burn people out though, way too much high intensity, way too often. And the other problem, safety concerns, all kinds of orthopedic issues and other stuff.